You are live. You are live. Hi, everybody, and welcome to What About Dawn, I guess. Right? Hi, everybody. She's attempting to burn the house down is what's going on here. I'm not on there yet. Wait. It's not my fault. Oh. Well, hi, everybody. She's going to burn the house down. <laughs> Oh, well, hi, SMB Channel, Susan, Brandon, Ken, Kendra, Mountain Solitude. Uh, hi, Donna. Hi, Char Charlene. Hi, Tabby. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Christine. Hi, Gary, Cami, Dawn, Jenny, Donna, Curtis, Susan, Randall. BTD, how's it going? Hi, Big Joe Malia's World. Big Joe and Malia. SNB channel. I love lemon bars. Yeah, she's making something over there. How they? I am making lemon bars. Because I, I put that in your description. Oh. <laughs> That's how they know. I wanted to cook it and there was a lot of commotion going on earlier, so I didn't make all the ingredients in front of the camera. It didn't go as I planned. I did a lot of commotion like a little bit ago. Thank you, Tinkerbell. Yeah, I make it. I got them in the oven. I hope they turn out. That's weird because that probably would have turned out better if I wouldn't have had so much commotion earlier. I think I do half of my commotion, my own commotion. <laughs> Running down the house is what about Chris's T-shirts does. <laughs> it's gonna be what about Dawn's burning down the house soon. Um, no, I wanted to make a video of them, and there's just too much going on in here, Deb. What's in the lemon bars besides lemon? Um, lemon, um, graham cracker cover crust, um, butter, sugar, and I I did a twist on them. I wanted to make like a lemon cheesecake bar, and I think it's a little weird to gotta cook the cheesecake. Like it's not like a cheesecake bake, or like a like a cheesecake you don't have to bake. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Plus I was running around like it. A nerd here a little while ago. Will needs to be in charge of the quality quality control. <laughs> well, I have a gree. What's a gree? G R E. How's your dog? Honeybear is currently where her favorite best spot in the whole wide world is on William's back of the chair. <laughs> How's the puppy done? She's on the back of the chair, B T D. Thank you, Kaylee. I'm going to try and get better at this whole cooking thing, but there was a lot of things going on earlier, and it's, it's like, I, I think I might have messed up the lemon cheesecake bars. Hopefully they're in the oven, and hopefully they turn out, and they should be almost done soon, so I'll be taking those out of the oven. You have to make pizza stuffed green peppers sometimes. This one's good. I love everything lemon, LRM Colin said. I think you need a voluntary taste tester. I'm available. That's right, Mountain Solitude. Sorry, puppy. Hit home. Laugh out loud. I have a great apple cake. What? <laughs> is Will there to test it out? Yes. I'm here, but you know, the weirdest thing that's going on with my phone here is it, it doesn't even show that you're live, Dawn, on my phone at all. It's weird. I'm live on this one. Well, I, I know, but on, on my phone, it doesn't even show you. Well, bring it over here. Are you on my channel? Well, yeah. But on your that phone? On that one, too? or? But it's, um... I made British tea drinkers onion rings tonight. Who did? Uh, uh, Susan Bates. Oh, Susan. Yeah. Jeff Neal, she blocked you, Will. He must have. <laughs> she no, must have blocked. No, I didn't. Did I? Because uh, for some reason, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. I want to go back and see if I blocked you. That don't make yeah. sense. I'm going to refire the, the phone back up. That's weird. They, these phones are outdated. No, the secondary phones are. I'm on, this is my phone. <laughs> if I do a live stream just on this one, we're like this tiny little speck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened there. We're like this bubble. 
Well, there you are. Well, that was weird. I had to shut the phone completely down and then refire back. He's up. logged in some other woman's channel. Laugh out loud. Who says that? Dab. Dab. <laughs> you can come sit with me. I will. I just got to have going. Here. Chris about t-shirts. Chris about... What kind of concert are you in, Chris? Chris is always going to concerts. He, I think he's going to a... Uh, Tell um, Will to stay off your live, laugh out loud. They're awesome. Everyone needs to try it. I, I'm going to... Hopefully my cheesecake lemon bars turn out okay, but I'm I, not I, making any promises. I think Chris was saying so he's going to a Slayer concert. What? Yeah. He goes to Slayer? Not really. <laughs> I'll turn over here so like Queen's concert. I thought it was Slayer. I bet they'll be good. I hope so, <laughs> Jessica. Ah, uh, yes. I really wanted to make a nice edited vlog. It's probably a good thing I didn't because it probably would turn out to be a disaster. Well, you got some cool stuff coming up, though. But, uh, I, yeah, this was It didn't right look time. like what it says on the box of what you're supposed to make. So I was like, what is that? It so it's probably a good thing I didn't. It might not come out. It's a Queens in concert. <laughs> I'm not that's funny. Yeah. I like I like like your channel because you can um you don't have such a big huge chat. Don't let them burn down, Don. Watch your timer. Uh my stove is uh my stove is uh, kinda like programmed for the timer. So when it when it's done it goes beep 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 beep. We'll go take a bath. Dawn's showing now. <laughs> My flower has got bulbs on it, but it never bloomed. So I don't know what's going on with this orchid. Look how pretty it is, though. It'd be prettier when it blooms. I'm hoping it does it any day now. You've had that for a couple years, haven't you? Yeah, and then it like, made a comeback. I heard it goes away and then it comes back. It's an orchid. It'd be really pretty if it does bloom. I have to definitely do a, a video on it. Oh no, it got stuck to the bamboo. Woo! What'd you do? Oh no, it got stuck in the bamboo, Will. It got stuck in the bamboo. Yeah. My, it got stuck somehow, you guys. <laughs> what a disaster. Doing. I'm cleaning out the sink with dirt. I got dirt in my sink now because. Yeah, who knows what you did with it? I don't know. It's wood chip things. <laughs> I'll put it in my rosebud. <sighs> I have like a little rose bush, but I don't know if it's dead or alive. I think it's still alive because it's still green. Are you going to be at the meetup tomorrow night at the islands? Yes. Yeah. She threw it while I saw her. That'd be, be Hi, shifting currents. <laughs> shifting currents. Looks good in front of Bull's head. Yeah. <laughs> good job, Will. Maybe you can try different box mixes and review them. Sometimes I take a box, mix it, and doctor them up. Yeah. I, I um, tried the cheesecake lemon bar once, but we'll give it a go and see how it um, turns out. I know I need to get definitely a cute apron, Deb. It's hard to film. Um, it's going to be hard to film um, you baking live. It's going to be long live streams. And you, you do multiple moves. It's going to yeah. be hard to like keep the camera. I don't know. I'll try to, I'll try to figure out something. You know what I mean? How to, how to do it. You know, for a live stream. Now, if it's an edited vlog, it would be easier because you'd be able to move the camera around and take, you know, but you can figure it out. Battle Ninja, hey. Hi, Battle Ninja. Hi, Tony. Hi, Christine. Hi, Brandy. Brandy. Um, I think you're going to... Um, we're, you're gonna you're gonna pull out the um, the air fryer, probably, yeah. probably over the uh, probably, probably towards the beginning of the next week. We ordered a bunch of equipment to um, to better shoot like live video here, um, so that's all gonna be coming in, in about a week or so. 
So yeah, that's what we're waiting on. Waiting on some of that. Oh, it's done. Uh oh. Shifting currents is thinking about coming back to the Smokies in two months. That sounds cool. Lemon cheesecake bars. All right, lemon cheesecake bars. I don't know, it's hot. Should I show the camera or just leave it? Because it's hot. Yeah, you can show it, but just be careful. Can you tell me if there, uh, you can see it? Yeah. That's supposed to yeah, be a cheesecake bar, so. Well, let it do what you got to do with it, right? So it's like, what is it, like a lemon bar with cheesecake on top or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. And that's not supposed to be. If you hear that, that's my... Matt says they'll be at the um, island tomorrow night. Say some for them. Okay. Um, Blondie, uh, Blondie's Adventures. You're not feeling good? I don't know. I must have not... Uh... I hope you feel better. I hope you get better. Did we cook Thanksgiving? Yes. Yeah, we have. Anyone else going to Bristol's night race on Saturday night? No, nothing I know of. How do you like glass stoves? Um, it's not bad. The, the other kind of stove, where it's the wire kind, what kind of wire stove is that? Oh, you're just like a regular electric. We usually lose electric yeah. here. Or mostly in this area, Sevierville, there's really no ga um, natural gas. So you only have the option of electric. Yeah. Um, unless you want to like have propane tanks, you know, hooked up. Yeah, I made lemon bars, and I don't know if they turned out or not because they never made them before. And I think I might have did something wrong, but I made them to a cheesecake bar, so we'll give it a go. Jesus Loves You says, um, your fa favorite flavor. And she wants to know how we are. I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing good. We're doing good. Now you gotta um let it cool off, and you're supposed to put it in the refrigerator to cool off. But I think you gotta let it cool off on the stove first, right? Uh, yeah, I would imagine, right? You can't put it in <laughs> hot. Oh, I got 75 in the chat, or 72. 76, wow. yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. I wish I would have did a nice little vlog on that, but I had a lot of commotion going on. I think I am my own commotion sometimes. It, it's it's going to be hard, like, to get this live streaming, like, stuff down yeah. pat. Like, we got to figure out, like, where to put the camera. And it's going to be a lot of um, hit and miss in the beginning here. Lighting could be an issue, you know, things like that. The lighting is pretty good. I have light, certain lighting in here. So. Are you and going to the Hot Air Balloon Race out in Where's Bailey Townsend this Saturday night? <laughs> Um, um, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I believe we're going to the hot. It's not a race. It's just hot air balloons. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna attend now. Last year we, we went last year and it was a downpour rain. It's downpour rain. So I don't. So if it rains, I'm not even gonna bother. Um, the thing it about light up. the thing about that event is it's like it, it's like twenty five dollars. Even though they say it's free to get in, but technically you got to pay like twenty five dollars to park. So um, if it's gonna. The weather is not going to be so good. It's just not worth putting the $25 out there because there's a chance they won't even take the balloons up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, um, but we'll, we'll definitely be there. I always wanted to go up in a hot air balloon ride. Not the kind with the cage. Well, these ones, the, you know. These ones are on tethers. Yeah. So they only go up so far and they bring them back down. It's not like a, you know, a normal hot air balloon. Susan said it is $25 a park. Yeah. yeah. It's expensive. Um, so... Um, you, you got to make sure you have good weather. You're going to put $25 into it. You know what I'm saying? It's Mandy and Brandon Mercer said on Jeep Invasion. When is it? Sorry, guys. I think it's 23rd. Well, that's fine. It's like 23rd, 24th. It's, um, I, I, technically, it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. What um, time do we go to bed? Whenever we fall asleep? It, it depends. Right now, we've been going to bed later, it seems like, right? Like 1 o'clock in the morning? 12, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. 10 but normally, to 12. Normally... Normally, when things are going, we you usually... want a recipe to that. <laughs> I don't think I don't know if that's a good idea or not, Nancy. You have to post that. I don't even know if that's going to turn out. <laughs> you have to you have to post something on somewhere. It doesn't look it. like what it said it was going to be turning out to be. And I thought, what is this? It took me a little bit to get going, and I was like looking at this thing. I'm like that is not what it says it is. Um. So yeah, the Jake invasion's coming, but. 
come. Yeah, this this Dawn's cooking show. I think what you said was gonna be more. It's gonna be more um, experimenting oh. than anything. It's <laughs> it's not gonna be like 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 Paula Dean is running here. There's gonna yeah, be times. It's not gonna be perfect. Well, because we're talking because it's live. So sometimes things are just not gonna turn out. Um, sometimes you know you're not gonna get the edited. So it's more. It's gonna be more of a. Well, it's gonna be. I think we, we both you both. Said it's it. gonna be probably a disaster like tonight was. <laughs> it's just be more of an interactive like live stream where there's cooking going on and then taste testing, and then you you are gonna do some edited videos. She she got a couple of cool things going on. Um, do we let the restaurant know the steak was um cold? Um, um, we like, didn't. And the guy was short staffed, so I couldn't understand that he was like all over the place and there wasn't that many people. And we had to wait a long time just to get the table and sit down because the lady that sits us down at the table had to clear off the table and clean it. So it was like short staffed everywhere. I know in the video I didn't explain exactly, but I know exactly what happened. Probably what happened was that because people that were, were seated after us were being served before us. So what happened was I'm guessing her steak and all that was done. They probably didn't put my order in or something. So they left her steak to the side while they were putting my order together. And then, of course, they brought it out together. Um, you know, guys, it, it is a reality in the food industry yes. in this area to get that type of service. Now, the next time we go back, it could be perfect. Yeah. I, I, I think because they... What it is... Like, the, that Start cycle people, too many people quit. The help here goes in cycles. You know what I mean? You have your Start good help and you have your bad help. And they need, these places need people so bad that every now and then they can only do what they can with the help they have. Like the waiter, I think he had at least five or six tables. And a restaurant like that, when you're, when you're, when you're charging 25 to $40 a person to eat, you should that that waiter should be waiting on no more than two or three tables. Yeah. Okay. Because they're on a family of four, that's over a hundred dollar bill. You know what I mean? That is crazy. So. And then there wasn't that much food there, and I thought, wow. And the food was cold. We waited over an hour, and the people were sitting down after we did, and they were getting yeah. their food. And the waiter kept coming by. It'll be out in a little bit. It'll be out in a little bit. It'll be out in a little bit. I thought, wow. So I'm thinking it's gonna be piping See, hot, um, and it wasn't. And the fries were supposed to be fries, and those were like potato size. They ones. said French fries, and it came out as a, yeah. I think they're called Twister fries or Twister. I was just whatever. disappointed. It's not what I expected it um, to be. Guys, I find it I find it to be be an often thing. I'm not saying we're. I'm not gonna say that the Park Grill is a bad place. But this happens to the best restaurants because actually we gave its sister restaurant, the Peddler, a very good review. Um, so oh, yeah. it, it's probably a fluke. And um, the thing about it is when, you know, I don't want to take over your channel, but no, um, when you spend 100 or $150 for a family of four to eat at a restaurant like that, all it. the food should come out hot. All the time. All the time. And they gave us plates. Because if I want cold food, I'll just go down to like the Chick-fil-A or yeah. and, and spend five dollars or McDonald's and spend a few dollars. Um I work hard for my money just like you guys work hard for your money. You shouldn't have to give away um, some folks that are that are bare that that you know that are making over minimum wage, that's like four or five hours worth of work for them. Is it worth four or five hours at your job for a cold steak or a mediocre uh, service? No, it is not. And the thing about it is nine times out of ten, if you complain to that restaurant, they're not going to give a fly they don't whatsoever. Care. They they're, they're not going to short staff. They're just going to be like, okay, we'll take it back for you. They're going to throw it in a microwave or throw it back on the grill. I or... think it was in the microwave. I, I think they cooked it like two days <laughs> prior and they put no, it in the microwave. No, I, I, I don't think the so. The silverware, no. the plates were a disappointment too. Well, they were like, all, you know, from people cutting their steaks over the time with the forks and scratching up the plates. I mean, all right. You know, Go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm not beating up on Chick-fil-A because Chick-fil-A's got good food, but I'm just saying, um, if I went to Chick-fil-A and I got a sandwich that was like mediocre cold, I'm not going to flip out about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
you know, I you expect that at, at like a fast food place, but not when you sit down and you're gonna blow a hundred or two hundred dollars on a night. You know. You think you know um, for twenty two dollars for a steak, or and the reason you get something hot. Trust or... me, guys, I, I don't want to give bad reviews because with Dawn and I doing YouTube, the, every time we give a bad review, we're, other restaurants are gonna see us coming and they're gonna either they're not you know. It hurts us as YouTubers. Restaurants are not going to like when Don and Will come to their restaurant. <laughs> also, who serves the food in the middle? Don and I. Well, they did. They did. But it, it, wasn't it tasted hot, like food. You know. So a lot of folks get mad with me, like, "Hey, Will, why did, why did you give it a bad review?" Well, we did get a bad review, and trust me, I don't want to give bad reviews because it's going to be hard for us in this town to even get like comps from restaurants or, or have um, collabs with restaurants if we do bad reviews. But the thing is for us to sit there and lie to you guys and say, oh, we had a great. And I have seen other reviewers in town here um, who have given food reviews. You could just tell that it was a, not a, as good experience, but they put a happy, you know, and I don't like giving bad reviews. Trust me, I would love to give all good reviews. But unfortunately, when you get a steak, or you spend that kind of money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I know. I just get upset a little bit about... I don't even know if the manager was in there or not to even ask. A lot of times these restaurants here, they don't. They really don't. <laughs> I they, mean, I they, don't think they, they'll, they'll, they'll sit there and they'll, they'll take it back and heat it up for you or something. You know, I don't know what they exactly do with it. See, and then people want us to give them the top five restaurants. Well, yeah. when we go, we had a really good experience and then... They switch staff around, and then like a couple months later, when someone comes to the town, they want good food, and they switch staff around, they might get a horrible experience. So I don't even know if I want to do that anymore or not. A lot of times, recommend a restaurant. A lot of know? times, these managers in these restaurants, they they don't know what's going on either. They were promoted probably from probably who knows where, <laughs> and everybody, and all they're gonna say is. Oh, we'll, we'll bring, you know, you'll get it back within like two minutes, and you can tell they threw it through the microwave, right? Yeah. <laughs> also, guys, um, I kind of I, I had a lot of experience in restaurant business, you know, growing up, and then in my early years, and um, <clears throat> I, me personally, if I got to send the food back, I just don't want to be there anymore because I don't want my food to come back to me. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I have no one people before in the kitchens um, to, to do things that are not so nice. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying anything bad, but you know, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't want my food back. If I'm going to send it, I told Donna, if I'm yeah. sending my food back, I'm just going to say, hey, I'm, this is not to my liking. I'm going to send it back. I don't want anything. I'd rather just take off and you know, go somewhere else. I want to give out good reviews. I mean, I, I want, you know, I, we had a good experiences at certain restaurants and then we're starting to get some positive, negative feedback so i mean i don't know i, know I was looking at the it it's kind of disappointing because i know they switched out people and people come and go and quit yeah and guys the reason so, and, and the reason why we want to give honest reviews and it's hard sometimes for us to give them but the thing is like i said people work really hard for their money and you know i do too we all do i always have and i never made like i mean big big money so for me it's hard for me to swallow a 50 dollar bad you know um but like i said i'm not taking it out on the on the restaurant because i do know we went over to their sister restaurant peddler and it was good all the way yeah. through right um i think theirs because they really they they go through a lot of steaks quick they cook them hot and they bring them out immediately you know i think that's the, the, the thing with that was you know this restaurant here is not really you know they just kind of work on you know multiple levels but anyways <laughs> it, it's just when you spend that kind of money though at a restaurant you don't have that kind of money to spend anyway but you want that experience and then it's like a good disappointment so yeah. leave it at that and I've worked in restaurants, I've worked in kitchens before, and it could be a stressful place, especially <clears throat> if there's miscommunication between levels. A lot of times, um, restaurants that have like problems, especially in like their cook areas and stuff, is mostly because the management there is just not involved enough into the kitchen. A lot of managers, you got two different types of managers. You get some managers that just care about the, the customer in, and you have the managers 
that, you know, worked in the kitchen. See, a lot of times these kitchens can do whatever they want. You know what I mean? Because there's really not a manager, like, over them, you know? I have a couple of different um, things in mind. I know, it's kind of hard to cook to on my channel. I, want, I really wanted to make a nice edit of the vlog on these lemon bars. It's probably a good thing I didn't because it... I think it's going to turn out to be a disaster. I can, I can just... Yeah. And, Val, it, and Valerie oh. said it too. It, it's not like these... A lot of times it's not... It's it just sometimes these... Like a lot of the restaurants and businesses in the area have a hard time finding good help. I mean, that 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 is that is a big problem here. So, um, yeah, it, it's hard to... Um, uh, you know, the, it, there's a lot of things. Like Magical next... dog. Like the next time when we go to uh, the Park Grill, it will probably be good. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know. Magical Dog said, did you hear about the local restaurant and the Board of Health that closed down in Sevierville? Yes. I, I believe it. They didn't close it down, but. They probably closed down until they can get their uh, things Italian, fixed. Italian Kitchen used to be the Three Brothers Italian Kitchen, but I think they, I don't know what happened there. And then I don't know, then it reopened as the, um. Best or a little Italian or something, I don't know. A little best of Italy. I don't know what it was. I don't want to get the wrong name because there's a lot of restaurants that sound the same. And they, they had a bad report. I saw that in the news. Have a good evening walk, Stacy. Thank you for coming by. Hopefully your watch goes off. Walk, good. Yes. Yes. Wow. She said she'd check back and see if we're still on an hour. It's good to get out and take a walk before you go to bed. Mm -hmm. It really is. I used to walk my neighborhood, but I'm not doing that no more because the dog got out of the fence and bit my back of the leg. So Courtney said she had a similar experience at the park grill. Yeah. And I know we I get I get a lot of messages. When, whenever we give a bad review, I'll get a lot of like people that are upset with it. You I know what I'm saying? Do we have a pressure cooker? I don't think so. Um I don't think we have a pressure cooker. Is it no, for might. rice? I used to have a steamer, but I don't know what I happened to it. When I moved here, I don't know. It's one of those pressure. I think my parents got one. My parents got a whole treasure trove of things that have never opened. Oh, well, that's I good, Stacey. They, they walk every morning and every evening. Yes. It's a good, good I'd story. walk with you if I was there. I love walking. I just, I, I, I'm not doing it in this neighborhood no more. There's no way. I got pit by the dog. I was like, Oh no, a dog bit me in, the, me in the back of my leg. And I went and I poured a bunch of peroxide on it. It wasn't ma nothing major. Hun just like a little bit of blood, and that was it. You had 100 in the chat, Don. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, the peddler, I didn't know. Uh, and that's the same, pretty much the same restaurant, if you think about it. It really is. It's the same restaurant. And we had a good experience over there. That just goes to show, though, like how. Um, I will, Nancy. I'll let you guys know how they turned out. Sometimes, sometimes they're hot, and they're gonna have to cool off in them. Sometimes these restaurants, like their like their their lunch crew, might be horrible, but their dinner crew is actually pretty good. You know what I mean? So it depends. It's hard. Don't take it, uh, you know, anything at heart. We just kind of have to show what's going on. But anyways, am I yeah. doing more like bake stuff or stove top? I'm just Everything. gonna do whatever. I mean, if, whatever I come across, if it looks good. Well, I really had high hopes for my lemon bars, but I don't know now. Because I got sidetracked and I got, like, busy with everybody else's stuff. And uh, so. Mandy, um, a actually, we are going to uh, use the uh, air fryer probably next week sometime, right? Um, so, yeah. I think what you, you're going to do on your channel, she's going to make, sometimes she's going to have you guys when she's making dinner, right? Yeah. Um, she's going to do stuff like this, right? Yes. And then you're going to... I gonna... wanted to cook the dinner one tonight, but, like, everybody was running around my kitchen, and I was like, forget it. And then, um, you, you said you were going to do reviews on certain things, right? And it could be anything from, like, frozen meals at Walmart all the way up to... It could be anything. Everything. Whatever I feel like cooking, and... You, and she said also taste tests. Like, she might do taste tests of, like, different types of things, so, right? Whatever I feel like doing, or just... It's just going to be random. I made um, steak on the grill tonight, and then I made some carrots and some instant potatoes. But I wanted to put that on film, but we had a lot of commotion going on in here. So Off the bank says, what is, what it is I guess. what's something you ate in Michigan that you can't get in the South? There's actually a lot. Number one, conies. Actual, actual conies, not chili dogs, but, but Detroit conies. Um, there is nothing down here to compare to a Detroit Coney at all, period. 
bar none. Number two, there's a Chinese dish up in Michigan called almond chicken. The almond chicken down here is nothing <laughs> like the almond chicken in Michigan. Number three, pizza. Believe it or not, uh, if you're from New York or Chicago or Detroit, you're used to a, a certain type of pizza. It is hard to find a Detroit, Chicago, or a New York style pizza here that is really good. There's some there's some places that are not so bad, but to find a true, you know, style pizza is very very hard. American or Lafayette Coney's will um, the one guy died. Both one well, of the brothers well, died yeah. of that. Um, actually, believe it or not, um, there's a lot of other places than Lafayette or American. Like there's a place in Garden City called uh, um, Play-Dohs. They actually got a good Coney. There's a lot. There's a place in Tro there's a place all over. There's a place in Rochester. That even. But anyways, make a long story short. They're actually pretty, both pretty good. We actually did a, um, a food review. Remember, we had one from one yes. American and one from. I remember that. Uh, that was fun. That was interesting. Yeah, and um, you know what? <laughs> they're they're both very good in their yes. own realm. Both very good in their own realm. And there were two brothers, and one wanted to do certain things this way, and the other one wanted to do certain things this way. So they kind of split up, but they're on the same block, doing yeah. chili dogs his way and chili dogs the other way. Interesting, but one of the brothers died, didn't they? So. Um, yeah, that well, they're you know, they're just whole families, they're actually related, they're actually brothers that started both of them. But yeah, um, I made some boiled eggs and they turned out, uh, like yeah, them. Jerry. Um, I am going to use the when, when she starts getting into her edit, edited vlogs, I'm actually going to do the camera work and I'm going to use the gimbal and other things to get in close to what she's doing on the, on the cooktop or other. Um, it, where, where the tough part comes is cooking in live streams. It's kind of hard to run a live stream and cook at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, it's do multiple be weird things. So we're working on it. We're going to get good at it, whatever we do. We need to find an, our niche. So um, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think of those? Boiled eggs in the air fryer. I've heard of that. I've heard of a lot of different things. The next time I went to order spaghetti and meatballs, it came out cold. I'm going not. I'm not going back. Oh, okay, Marvin. Yeah. Um, things now. Here's another question. So everybody asks what what we missing from Detroit. What's good around here, right? And there's a few good things. Um, believe it or not, the Mexican um, re restaurants in the area are not so bad here, right? Um, that's been a that's been good food around here. Um, what else is there? What else is there? <laughs> Food around here that Which you, one did you say? Well, the Mexican restaurants around here are not too bad. No. I mean, they're not too bad compared to like, like I think there's better Mexican restaurants here than there is up in Michigan. Now, there is one Mexican restaurant in Michigan that's really, really good. It's kind of, but they have a different type of menu altogether. Um, yeah. You really want some good Mexican food? Go to Mexico. I'm just kidding. Go to Mexico. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> actually, the Mexican um, food in yeah. Mexico is way different than the food here. Mexican town in Detroit wins. I don't think I've ever been to Mexican town in Detroit. I've been there a few times. It's off on the, um, it's off on the um, like on the e east, uh, I really, east, south of Detroit. There. I I really try to do things tonight, and there's just too much distractions going on. Have a good night, uh, Jamie yeah. and Beth. Um, Linda, that is actually a very good um, Chinese restaurant. All you can eat. It's actually in the Aldi's, in the Aldi's um, Plaza. There's a little uh, Mex, a little um, Chinese all you can eat buffet, which is really good too. Um, if you want an all you can eat buffet, yeah, that's good. We've been there a couple mm -hmm. times. But I bet Dawn is a great cook. Dawn, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. You eat it, so how is it? Probably okay. average. Or believe something. it or not, believe it or not, I'm a very good cook too. Yeah, he makes good goulash. I make good food, but uh, it's good food. Yeah, but you do pretty good too. So, did you ever go to the Hardcore Pond location, like where they filmed the yes. show? Yes, yes, I've been there a few times. Where's, what is, is that in Vegas? Remember the one in Detroit, the pawn shop? We were there during one of the filmings. <laughs> remember the remember yes. the. And I was through a fit because he told me the price was 
Oh, then something she was trying was to get like, something, or so I can't remember what the only. He said something was like two thousand dollars, and I don't think it was, should be priced that high. They never used that clip. I was though, real fit. Yeah, she almost made it on that TV show. Um, oh boy. What are we tasting those lemon bars? Is it? Almost it says right? it's got to cool off. How long? You gotta put it in the refrigerator. Oh, okay. But it's hot. I mean, he had to throw it. What in the refrigerator? We're gonna um. This is gonna be called um hillbilly cooking here, guys. It's gonna be like. I'm really... disappointed. I don't think it's. <laughs> I think I did it. Oops. What? What's? I think it's supposed to be more fluffier. I guess. Okay, Sheldon. Um, Why do we have Jumper's cup? Sorry to hear that, my friends. Oh, that's that's sad, Sheldon. Sheldon's mom. Um, what happened, to Sheldon's mom? His dear mother went home to heaven at 7.52 this morning. Aww. Wow. That's sad. Definitely got our prayers, Sheldon. You've always had our prayers. Yeah. So sharp. Sorry, Sheldon. Yank Billy cooking. Yeah. I know more hillbillies in Michigan than I know hillbillies here. <laughs> a lot of folks that are like, there's a lot of folks that live in Michigan that originally were from the hills here. They all moved north to do, um, to do. I got this song. To, do, to work in the automotive companies and stuff back in the day. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for a little bit. What time is it now? It's 9.33. Stephen wants, Stephen wants to know if you ever made a uh, no bake cookies, peanut butter, no bakes. Dawn? Yes, I have. They're really good. Yes. I got this um, genuine bagel, delicious cotton candy pop. We're going to try it. You sure, sh did, did, you, did you hear me? Sheldon lost his mom this morning. I'm so sorry, Sheldon. That's not good. Sheldon's been through a lot of hard times, everyone. Yeah. He has been. We're hoping this for you. What do you have? Cotton candy? Fago? Yeah. I'm, we're going to say it, some prayers for you, Sheldon. There's been a lot of, um, just a lot of not so good news lately, you know? Cotton candy Fago. <laughs> It's blue. Cotton candy fago. Now, when I left Michigan, I don't think they had cotton candy. I think it's something new that they're doing. It tastes like cotton candy. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It's got like a kick to it or something. It has got, it is, ta it tastes like cotton candy. Cotton candy fago. I mean, it it's really... It's like a light blue concoction. It really tastes like cotton candy. I wonder if we can mix it with something. It's almost not appealing because it tastes like so sugary. Like, I'm, cotton candy is sugar. You don't want to see that. Um, good thing we're sharing it because... Now you got an aftertaste. Uh, you can buy Fago um, at uh, Food City. Food City sells Fago. I think I'd rather eat the cotton candy before I would drink that. Wow. You can buy a lot of Fago at Rule King. I, you're in my prayers, Sheldon. I'm sorry to hear about your mom. Will we be attending the um, Mountain Hot Air Balloon? I believe so, Justin. The only, if we do not, weather would be a big determination if we go to the hot air balloon. Yes. We went last year and it poured down rain. And, um... They did get the balloons finally up, but we, we just went home. It was just, it was miserable for us, remember? So. Gerald Farms. Hey, how's it going, Gerald Farms? Hi, Gerald Farms. Hi, 
Cotton candy. Cotton candy was released in 2000 as a millennium favor. I don't know if you get a if you ever get to taste that, Jerry. Um, it does taste like cotton candy. That is amazing because a lot of times you get these things and they don't always taste what like what they say they are. But this does taste like candy, cotton candy. Wow. I, I'm too thinking sugary. it's like the blue. It's too sugary. Too bad they didn't make the pink in the cotton candy drink because there's pink and blue cotton candies on here. There's cotton candies on the picture. Mr. Mountain Man. Hey, um. Hi, Mr. Mountain Man. He must be on vacation right now with the fam. I know he was uh, going on vacation with the fam. I'm going to give myself an ice cube for the simple fact that. Put one in mine. This, I don't know. It's just kind of like, it's odd. Jennifer's stuff. Uh, Here, give me one too. It has like a weird, um, okay, we're gonna do it the non healthy part of the way. <laughs> it's like a weird kick or something. It's just odd taste. I think it needed like ice cubes or something. Yeah. Have too a good night, Randall. It's like literally, it feels like like you were if you were able to drink a cotton candy, you know, it, it's like that. Good night, Barbara. Yes, they made it to Myrtle Beach. All right. So yes. Oh wow! Hi, Mr. Mong Man. Yeah, he's been in the chat for a while. I didn't know. I'm um, like running around, so. That looks like Windex. Don't drink it, Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's, it's like, um, it, it does kind of look like Windex. But it's, it's like really sweet. I would think I'd rather eat the cotton candy before I drink it, but there's something new to try. So. It's almost overpowering. Yeah. I'm not liking it. Because it's just overpowering. But, um. Yes, Gerald Farms doesn't live too far from Myrtle Beach at all. We're going to head to Myrtle Beach one of these days. One of these days where all of our little um, road trips have been put on postpone right now. Um, as of right now. So. Which one of Dolly Parton's brothers do we see? We see Randy a lot. Randy. We see Randy. Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill's her uncle. We see Uncle Bill. Every now and then. A lot less than Randy. Um, yes. Angel. Hey, hi guys. Hi, Angel. Give me the idea what the weather is like around Christmas. It's very hard. I, I have wore shorts here on Christmas before. Um, most of the time, it's it, it's going to be... I think average could be in the upper... During the day, it could be as high as the upper 50s. And at night it can get, it can get, you know, down into, um, you know, into the forties possibly. So lower forties, sometimes you can even get snow. It's kind of hard to predict. We have a really, um, large swing on, on, um, on weather. Um, it all depends. I know like two, two, two Christmas ago, I had, I had uh, my, my shorts and t-shirt. I remember. You should pour that in a Windex bottle. And drink it and, and yeah, it mess people up. Drink it in a store and film that and get huge views. <laughs> <laughs> I want to come to the winter fest. Christmas is my favorite time here in the Smokies, though. Bar none. Bar none. Um, it is the most. It's probably the beautifulest time here in the Smokies for me, anyways. Um, other than maybe fall. So. Next week, the next few months is, is my favorite time of the year here, isn't it? Yeah. The Smokies is getting to its prime. And lot, someone asked me a question the other day. Do, are we starting to see signs of fall? And believe it or not, I am starting to see the trees have a yellow tinge to them already. Yeah. Um, I noticed a little bit of I can't fall. wait for Gatlinburg to put out their pumpkin so, people again. And then their snowmen. So it is. That's kind of what I'm looking forward to. Indiana kid. College football is back off the bank. Yes. Yep. 
Go Vols. We'll be, there'll be a lot of crazy craziness going on. Does it get cold in the Smokies? It can. It can. It's very hard to predict. It's very hard to predict. Um, but I, it's mild weather. If you, if you live in the north, especially like Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, possibly, you know, the northern parts, um, like Pennsylvania, things like that, New York, upper New York, um, it's going to be very, very nice here. But... Um, you know, it can get cold. It can get cold here, too. Say hi to Indiana Kid. Hi, Indiana Kid. He's got to go back to work, he said. Yes. Thanks for stopping by, right? Oh, yes. did Disney put up their yes, Halloween they did. fall stuff on Monday? Oh, wow. Yeah, they did. They did. They did. They did. Yes, it's crazy when the Vols play Alabama. Enjoy your um, vacation, Kentucky, Mr. Too. Mountain Man. Yes, definitely enjoy your, um, yeah, and, and elevate, like Mr. Mountain Man was saying, the elevation does play a, a havoc. Like, if you're going to go hike towards the top of the mountains, um, it can get, you can get a lot of snow, and it can get, you know, it could be bad up there. So, yeah. you know, don't. Yes, definitely the pumpkins at Dollywood, right? Yeah, I, I, I like I enjoy those pumpkins in Dollywood at Gatlinburg. They have a nice display of pumpkin people. And I also enjoy the snow people when they come out. Surviving Tennessee. Hey, welcome. Fall colors in the mountains. Yes. Fall colors can, Hi, Larry. can swing dramatically depending on when the fall changes. I, I notice it usually falls. To me, the colors are late, late, not usually it's late in October. And they can go into the first month of November. But the leaves are a whole different story, depending on what kind of wind and what kind of when the frosts, our first couple frost hit, things like that. So last year, it's like all of a sudden the trees changed real quickly, remember? And then they were gone. So if anybody's coming in now, it's that genuine Fago cotton candy drink. Ugh. It's got a weird kick to it. Yeah, they, they have started. Yeah, they have started um, filming for the movie. I believe Dollywood today. Um, they were filming for Hallmark, uh, Hallmark movie today at Dollywood. So they were filming for the new, the new, the new Hallmark video today. Um, yeah. At 10 o'clock, I'll pull the lemon bars out and cut one, and then we can try it. Let's give it a little bit of time to cool off, because I know it's still hot. This song's so catchy, most people probably don't listen to the lyrics. Yep. I think a lot of times, a lot of folks, they, they, I think a lot of folks cannot recite the words of most, most um, music. Uh, they just go by the tunes and the beat, and... Um, there's a lot of songs I was singing for years, and when I actually looked up the lyrics, I was actually singing them totally wrong. You know. Patricia said, "Check out the Great Pumpkin Cart in Chad's Ford, Pennsylvania. It's quite essential fall cider pumpkin and the whole nine yards." Yeah. How's Honey Bear? She's uh, in her best spot in the whole wide world, and that's sitting behind on the back of the chair. She is doing better. She's eating. She's walking. She's playing a little bit. She gets tired quick, though. She's getting a lot better. In fact, she just got the chair to the um, pet bed, so... Oh, well, thank you, Big Joe Malia. I have some quick recipes that would be good for a live stream. My problem is just trying to get the right angle or, like, it would be a long live stream if I cook. I had a lot of distractions going on today, too. We were going to start something up tonight, but everybody's running around and... Yeah. It's, it's going to be very hard to stream I made lemon bars, but I don't know if they turned out, and I made, like, a lemon cheesecake bar. 
And I put it in the refrigerator to see if it's going to turn out or not. You know, it's got to be cooler to eat. You should make honey bear homemade doggy treats. Aw. But you're not going to just do cooking on your channel, too. You're going to do a lot of other things. I know she, she's going to do... You're going to do a lot of stuff like like vlog style, too. Yeah. I know there's a lot of stuff. I know she wanted to do some dollar store. You know, there's all kinds of crazy things. So... That's just like one element of it. Have we used the air fryer yet? No. No, no, no. It's going to be an experience for us because we do go to use it. It's going to be it's going to be a learning experience. Like I said, this is probably going to be more of a comedy than an actual production. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. A professional Betty Crockery here. <laughs> Paula Dean. Paula Dean. It's probably going to be more comedy than anything else, and they. Because I want it to turn out that way. <laughs> Every time I do something, it seems like it's always a disaster waiting to happen most of the time. I think mm. it's him. <laughs> so, yeah. Any plans, Dawn? Anything going on? I just my, the last of the I was looking for the charger for this phone and my phone's going dead and I can't find any of my batteries anywhere. That's winning. Yeah. My pink charger's on, on the um <laughs> on the in the bedroom, I think. Yeah. You can all use a good laugh every now and then so go. Yeah, away. you know, Magic Quest is pretty cool, yeah. We've never done it the log air. Um I can't remember. I can't remember why. I thought there was a reason why we can't film there. I don't know if it's because we couldn't film or they don't like film. Hi, BTD. I think they don't. They frown upon film in there uh, because it's mostly geared for towards little kids. My foot is stuck in a thing. Oh. And um, I'm so us. yeah. Yep. There goes my. Are you? I'm good. Go get my pink box. Here, let me go get it. I'll go get it. I'll get it. He died. <laughs> this phone. I, I plug mine in, but I don't got. I don't know how much juice we have, but we're gonna try those lemon bars at ten o'clock. Try and get them as cool as we can before we try them. I put them in the refrigerator. I should have put them in the freezer, but Oh, they do? Okay. I really had high hopes for those lemon bars, but I don't think it's going to turn out the way I want them to. Oh, it's fun when things don't turn out. It makes me feel normal. Yeah, that's how my things go. Most of the time, it don't turn out the way you think it would be. Like, what you have in mind turns out to be something ten times worse. What is all that? <laughs> Guess you see the cord for that. Where's my box? There we go. That's winning. It's going to work. We're going to get the extension cord out, guys. There's no way. I can't find my... I think they're... I don't know where they're at. But anyways, we got an extension cord. Whatever now. works. It's working. I might have to go get the same thing in a minute. Well, you're going dead too? No, no, no but... No, you're not going dead. I don't know, because I don't think I did the directions right, but the things... When I was looking at it, I said, that don't even look like Rain Cracker Crumbs for the crust. I'm like, what is this? So I stood there for like 10 minutes looking at it. I'm like trying to figure out what is that. And then the other stuff didn't look like what it was supposed to be. So I don't know. We'll give it a go. 10 to 10 um, lemon bars. What's OTC mean? Over the counter. Oh, okay. Over the counter. I had to sign these kids that like lemon tarts. Woohoo! On the clock. Is Sheldon still here? Mm. You're in my, um, we're thinking. We're thinking
thinking about you, Sheldon. Means, Means almost, almost time. time. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, I just, because I don't think I did the directions right. Because, like I said, what I was looking at and what they say that's supposed to be, it didn't look like what it was supposed to be. Like it's, it did not look like what it said it was supposed to look. Have we ever done the pyramid? Yeah. Yeah, we've done the pyramid. We never filmed it, though. Of course, they won't let you film inside of... Um, uh, any kind of escape games or whatever, um, but we did do the we did do the tomb. The tomb, the tomb was a lot of fun. It was fun. It's a lot of inter interactive, um, uh, and it, had, it was like a lot of like animatronic type stuff. You know what I mean? Like, like a lot of cool like. That thing was and coming stuff. up at us, and I started screaming. Remember that thing to jumping out at us in a box? I remember that. That was a couple years ago, but it was a lot of fun. The tomb. My wife can uh, grill like nobody else's business. That's cool. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Get in my bag. I was hoping mine would turn out to be like Betty Crocker's and Paula Deen's, but we'll have to taste it before... <laughs> Can't believe me. It's gonna be hard to taste it now because this cotton candy drink is like really potent stuff. Ooh. Well, you have your own Facebook page, Don. I do have a Facebook. You have a Facebook page for like your. I never thought of that. Yeah, that could be. <laughs> have we ever eaten at Three Jimmy's? I don't think so. No, no, but we like to. I hear it's good. I do hear it's good. Is that the like a sub shop? No, it's the one out near uh, the McDonald's heading on 321 towards the Arts and Crafts community. Hi, uh, Rochelle, the Banjin Stroke Survivor. He says it's his first time here. Oh wow! Well, welcome. Well, welcome. I don't I I don't know if I'm going to say your name right, but hi, Rochelle, the Banjin Stroke Survivor. From Survivor. Okay. Well, welcome to our um, show. I'm Don. This is my husband, Will. All right. It's yeah, it's kind of a really loose like type show, <laughs> uh, but it's it's fun, right, Don? Um, we should have a cook-off with Chris and Mindy and the judges. Yeah, I can see things happening down the road, right? Yeah. This is a, a lot of new for Dawn. Dawn's going to be a lot, a lot of uh, learning experience, right? A lot of curve, a lot of learning curve. Yeah, the stuff. cotton candy flavor is like a darn near sugar. It's it is. Sugar. This is the most sugariest ever, ever. It's unreal. It's like molasses or something. I don't know. It's weird. Oh, wow. She's from Barbados, Will. Barbados? Barbados? Nice meeting you, too. You have someone in it. You have um, Emily in um, from London. Oh, yeah, okay. she's from London. So well, you gotta say from our, ba our Barbados, Barbados. Emilian. Also, I can't say your name. Um, um, BTD. You'll see BTD in the in the chat there. He's also a fellow um, British subject, mm -hmm. right? I guess you would say, right? Um, yes. Let's say subject. Is that what they call him? I don't know. My 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 grandmother was from um, Great Britain, and she, I think I think they call her a British subject or something. I don't know. I can't remember. Whatever. It's been a long time. Yes, BTD. BTD is very um, active in 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 the uh, uh, social media communities. Oh, um, Tony said, if you guys go to Three Jimmy's, tell Mercy I said hello. She's another buddy of mine up there. We'll do, Tony. Mercy. Say, Mar okay, Mercy. Mercy? Mercy? Yeah, Mercy. Yeah, because um, I could barely um, speak English. <laughs> That's horrible, isn't it? Thanks for the tips on some of the trails in Gatlinburg. I've watched your guys' videos before. I went on a trail. It was really helpful. Thanks, Tina. Yeah, I, 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 
it's awesome we help people. We have a lot of people come up to us and say, hey, we've never even... Been here and we, we, witnessed have been so helpful. Yeah, or we've never stepped foot in the National Park. We did. We fell in love. Um, we had one, one a couple a couple years ago. They started watching our channel way back when we first started. And they were like, wow. And then the next time we saw them, they had like hiking gear and packs. And they were like all over the Smokies. And so we actually, I guess, helped them on a new... Um, hobby or whatever you want to call it yeah we need small vision and taste youtube youtubes oh yeah. she comes from the philippines will philippines yeah oh wow that's so cool now over in london right now it's like what four four five four in the morning or something it's late i mean it's early morning in london right now yes early early morning can you take your dogs to the island yes yeah, yes. If any, depending on what the circumstances are tomorrow, if what the weather is going to be like, and we may bring up honey bear tomorrow. I don't know, but that depends. Ain't... But that's she's still not like hundred percent. I think I think it's going to be hot. It'd though. probably be best that she goes to grandma's. Yeah, I think so. Because I I can't leave her here. So it's like three a.m. Yeah, BT is like three a.m. In, in, in the UK. So yeah, it's um quite early in the morning. Over there. But it's always nice to see uh, folks from different countries come in. Um, we do have a pretty good... Um, have, take care, Mr. Mountain Man. Enjoy your um, Myrtle Beach experience. International, yeah. Take care, Mount, Mr. Mountain Man. We do have a, a really good um, international community on, on the whole network here. Once you start getting in, like, Dawn's channel, or, or Dawn and I also have another channel called Yankee in the South. What? And then you'll start finding out that uh, there's a lot of other people, like, you know, BTD, and, and he's got a channel, uh, British Tea Drinker. You can check on his little icon hey, there. Gotta, someone's got a question here. Do you live in the Smokies when the whole Eric Rudolph was found hiding there? Who's Eric Rudolph? I, I think it was... Is it one of Santa Claus's reindeers? <laughs> I think he might have been some kind of, like... There's been a lot of people who, like, duck out in, in the, in the uh, Smokies when they're running from something um there's been a lot of them a lot of them i think it's what he's talking about it's like one of those um like someone's on the serial run. killers or something back in the day hiding out in the smokies hiding out in the, yeah yeah but i mean i don't even know how many years ago what that was i've never even heard of them abortion bomber from alabama alabama alabama, alabama i mean <laughs> i don't know yeah i don't, I don't I, have nothing to do with all that we've been either, mr mountain solitude We've been here since, uh, we've been here for almost almost eight years. It's, co it's going on eight years pretty soon. Tony's getting hitched. Congratulations, Tony. Tony? Which Tony? <laughs> I guess Tony, um, Tony, Tony. You weren't hitched already, Tony? I thought he was. That's the only Tony I know. Are they playing room? It's 9.59, you guys. we got one more minute left, and I'll pull those bars out, and we'll give it a shot. <laughs> yeah. Who all gets the first bite? Probably like an eggshell or something in mine. <laughs> that have you eggs? You never know. Yes, three of them. Oh, boy. I pick all the eggshells out. She picks all the eggshells out. <laughs> well, like I said, I'm not no Betty Crocker or Paula Dean, so. Paula Dean just put butter on everything. Oh, forgive my slow typing. I only have one forget, hand. That's for, fine. Forget fine. our forget our English. <laughs> our English is horrible. We're pretty much family friendly here. And we're not yeah. harping anybody. No one's perfect, so you're fine. Cupcake batters don't good. get me along. It's everywhere. Bro, cupcake batter me don't get along. It gets everywhere. Um, I had a pretty good mess going on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> like the cream cheese and then the sugar went flying. I was like, what? <laughs> so, congratulations, Tony, on you getting married. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he is. I don't think he uh -oh. is. Yeah. Sometimes I'm so slow at typing that... um. People are on a whole different subject by the time I actually respond. Are we going to try this? Yes. We're going to try this, guys. 
I just wish I would have followed the directions better, but a lot of things didn't look like Gosh. what it said it was. This is not going to be good at all. Do you want a plate or a bowl? Probably put it on a plate. I have a plate, yes. A little plate. How do you know if it's going to be good or not? I don't know. We'll find out. What's this Ew. thing called? It's a lemon cheesecake bar. It smells pretty good. It looks like a gloopy mess. I did it right, I think. It does look glo gloopy. <laughs> here, let's get the camera here. Yeah, I didn't do something right. I told you. Man. Yeah, do not use metal plates. You know, Jerry, that was really weird because I couldn't believe I was getting this huge metal taste in my mouth. And it had to come from the metal plate. That's all I can figure figure out. I know I messed this up. It looks <laughs> lemony. The bottom is, it looks, okay, it's just the first piece. That'd be mine. Guys, do you see that? Noah says it looks good. Hey, Aqua Bob, welcome, bud. <laughs> is everybody at the okay so everybody comes to the meetup tomorrow night guess what they're getting lemon um they see this they're gonna run something <laughs> okay yeah yeah that's definitely okay we're gonna where did your part go you can see that the i kitchen. wish it would have turned out like right. I said, a lot of things like the Grand Cracker Crest did not look like Grand Cracker Crest that I was looking at. Look at what is that? It kind of looks like like a cheese bake of some sort. <laughs> you can tell a little bit. It's like a Grand Cracker Crest. All right, here we go. Chewing, chewing. Okay, so it's real gooey. Kind of sticky. I do like the, the graham cracker like crust like, but it's it's like it's almost like a, a, an apple, like an apple like not apple but you know how like the texture of apple fritter is. Oh yeah, it just kind of tastes like an apple. It has a apple. tint, a tint or a hint. I guess you say a hint. But I can uh, taste the lemon in of it. Of lemon, just a hint though. It's not. I real. can taste the lemon. Um, I can also taste cream cheese. Now the cream cheese over is more powerful than the lemon. Um, it didn't help to drink the cotton candy contraption. You know, it's still warm, so I think if you let it sit more, maybe it would get better. It's not bad. I'm gonna put it back in the refrigerator. It's more like a. You know what? It, it's not a bar. It, it's to me, it's more like a pie right now. You know what I mean? It was like if you're having like a lemon pie, but it's actually pretty good. It's just that it's because it, it's not like a bar. It's more like a pie. It, it, it tastes like a pie. It's good though, actually. Um, not too bad. It's still warm on the bottom. Um, I think if you put it in a pie dish, <laughs> oh. you could pass it off as a pie. Well, they said to use the glass thing, so but that's what I did. But it would be interesting to see what it's like in the morning when it sits, uh, what it's like. But you actually, believe it or not, I, I, have a, I have a feeling it's going to taste better now than when it's going to taste like later. Like, I don't know why. you don't think it's going to taste Because I actually cold? like, no, I actually like the um, texture. It kind of tastes like a, a crisp. Like yeah, like a crisp, crisp, like a cr apple crisp, but it's not apple. I mean, it's got the textures of like a crisp. I just wish I would have gotten a film, but I think it turned out to be well, a disaster. And there's going to be some learning. Ew. I like it though. You do? Yeah. Not bad. I just wish I would have knew, like, the graham cracker crust. I wish it would have looked like a graham cracker crust. Yeah. It's good, though. Not bad. It would taste good with vanilla ice cream. 
Yeah, I know, Noah, but we were running late all day. Um, I probably won't go to bed for a while yet. I still got a lot of stuff at work to do. Not bad, though. Crisp. Yeah. Like an apple crisp. I call it like a apple, lemon crisp. Yeah. So if you can use that same kind of crust style, whatever you did, if you can repeat that with like an apple pie instead, it would be awesome. That's you know what I'm saying? Vanilla ice cream. <coughs> you know what would be really can good? Can you taste the cream cheese in it? Um. Yeah. Yeah, I can taste it a little bit. I wonder what it's going to taste like cold. I think we're circling. Yeah, that's that's just, just, yeah, just the way it is, yeah. Yeah, okay. you probably better sit off the night. Uh, this, I, I actually cook all the time, but um, since we started on YouTube, I haven't had time. I'm usually editing while Dawn's making like dinner and stuff. I don't know so, if I need a, my own Facebook page, do I? Um, it, it's something we could work on, but right now I don't think I don't think right now would be a bad idea because we can barely handle everything yeah, that's like, going on. So, but I could see maybe a little bit down the road. You know. I can taste the lemon. You can't though, can you? I can. A hint. But it's not like real powerful. Bring some to the meetup tomorrow night, Dawn? Not <laughs> sure you want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not bad. Send it'll, some to Indiana. It'll, it'll be interesting tomorrow what it tastes like. I, if I was to bring some to the meetup, either, how would I pack it? Like Either it's going to be... Either it's going to get worse, or it's going to maintain the same. Paper plates. How would you pack that if you were to bring it? You have to bring the whole just nine bring yards the whole into thing. individual silverware. No, not really. You just kind of cut yeah, it. Yeah, but up. I mean, they're bars. You're supposed to be able to, like maybe put them in something, right? I don't know if it's going to turn out to be a bar. Well, it's turned we'll out to we'll be all to gooey tomorrow. and break it apart, and so I don't know. It's on your nose, Will. Probably. We got all kinds of stuff all over. <laughs> yeah. I'm fighting allergies. I'm fighting a lot of different things right now. Um, I still got to make it edited. I still got to make a video for tomorrow. I haven't made a video. i um, been running around a lot trying to get things done. Oh, I binge watched a lot of your videos to prepare my trip for Pigeon Forge. Oh, wow. I wish I came across one of those Calhoun videos before I wasted my time and money. Oh, they got you too? Yes. Yeah. You guys, like I said, I'm real critical on our, on our food reviews because, like I said, I don't, I, uh, you know, everybody works hard for their money. And the worst thing to do is to come here and have a beautiful time, a great time here in the Smokies, and have it ruined by, like, one restaurant. You know what I mean? Especially, I, I put it back in the fridge. You know, I'm going to tell you a little story that happened to Dawn and I. So Dawn and I, this is years ago. We went to Las Vegas. And we, we want, all we want to do is go to Gordon Ramsay's at... at at uh, Caesar's, Caesar's, um, remember Caesar's Palace? So it's, it's fine. Okay. It's just something YouTube's doing. So we we it was an we knew it was gonna be an expensive meal, probably like almost two hundred bucks, right? So we saved all of our money for like almost a year, and we finally made it to Vegas, and we actually we made it our last day. We wanted one we wanted one memorable thing from Vegas, right? So we waited till the end of our trip. We went into Gordon Ramsay, which we figured there's no way in ever you're going to get a bad review. I mean, a bad food in, in Gordon Ramsay. And Dawn, tell everybody how it was at Gordon Ramsay. It was a disappointment. <laughs> disappointment. It was horrible, horrible, guys. It was horrible. If you don't see anybody in the restaurant and when you go in, then that should be a little red flag that they're not good food at all. We complained about it. Yes. They didn't care. They no. just pretty much like, well, we'll just, the most we can do is like knock 10% off your bill. But it was still like, a, you know, it was bad. They didn't bring us the right stuff. It was just, it was just a mess Thank you, all the way around. So I got to the point where I actually, after we got back from Vegas, it actually kind of like, I was still brewing inside me. And so I called up 
Gordon Ramsay, and I got a hold of like his publicist, like his office. And I said, I pretty much wrote a letter to him saying our experience and everything else and, and all that. And it took about like three months later. I finally get a, yeah, I remember a, that. a respond from Gordon Ramsay's publicist, probably the closest person you get a hold of. And pretty much saying that Gordon Ramsay's has nothing to do with the Gordon Ramsay restaurants. They're actually, they, they actually pay him royalties for his name. And that they said they're sorry that Gordon Ramsay has nothing to do with their operations, even though his name's on there. But they did say that they would forward to Gordon Ramsay about our service. You know what I mean? And I've never heard anything since. But it, I just wanted Gordon. Because I know Gordon, he wouldn't put up with that, would he? <laughs> no, he probably you know, had nothing to do with it. So, yeah. Yeah. You know what would be a really cool restaurant to go to? What was that? I don't even know where it is, but I just heard about it from, you know, like online and stuff. The Bon Jovi restaurant. Bon where Jovi. you go in there and just do dishes. You get oh. a meal and then you just you pay for your own food by doing dishes and cleaning up the kitchen. That would be a really cool one, but I have no idea where it's at either. No, there's I've a... I've about it in the past. It's free. You just tip... You just pay what you... F I think it's... Doesn't cost you nothing, but you only pay you yeah, pay for what you Bobby think it's Fly worth, restaurant right? In a hotel in Vegas, and it was amazing. Oh, okay. I never heard of the Bobby Flay restaurant. Yeah, Bobby. No, he's a he's a huge cook. Oh. Well, I know that. A couple years back, they actually took that Gordon Ramsay's oh, restaurant oh. out, and they actually changed it with another newer style Gordon Ramsay. But I was upset because welcome troll. Um, I was upset because we spent a lot of money. Yeah. And we waited, you know. Hi, troll. The troll. Yeah, I was having a hard time getting notifications on my phone. Try Carlos Bakery. It's so oh, good. It's Cake, Cake Boss, Boss yes. I've I've heard of that on TVs before. Is that new is that in New Jersey? I think I'm, I I think I had that on a list. Dawn and I we were looking on a list of things to do when we we want to go visit New Jersey and New York City. This is in the future. This is something I, I have put aside. I, I've been to New York many times myself. I've been to New York, probably New York City, probably uh, half a dozen times in my life. I'm not more. And um, so I think the Cake Boss was on our was on my list. We want to go to the you know his place there. You know what would be really cool to do, but I don't like the taste. I don't, I don't like alcohol at all, but to be behind the counter and bartend with the people and serve the pop or just get the alcohol and make the fruity little drinks or drinks. something, that'd be cool. <laughs> but I don't like alcohol. It, it just, it looks good the when people are amazing. get it on their table and they order it. It's like, oh wow, and it's like, if you taste it, it's like, nope, I'm not having it. It's just, I'm not liking it. But I think it'd be fun just to go back there and hang out with the bartender for a couple hours and... Troll. Well, welcome, troll. They're completely Danielle, amazing. we shouldn't call her troll. <laughs> troll, what's up? <laughs> so, Danielle, do you get do you get kicked out? Of, I think she says before. I imagine she gets kicked out of a lot of rooms when she goes in there. I can give it a go. <laughs> Maybe in here in a couple. Like, I can try the key lime pie. Yeah. That's my favorite. BTD said, "We could try it. Hang out with the bartender. Yeah." I think it'd be fun to go hang out with the bartender. Um, Aqua Bob, I don't like alcohol, though. Aqua Bob said he had Paula Deen's this week. Uh, I hear a lot of mixed reviews about Paula Deen. Some people say it's the awful, Louis, Louis and some people say it's day. awesome, you know. Yes. So, um, I heard more bad about Paula Deen's restaurant over here at Diamond than good. So. I probably do hear more bad than good. I do. So. Don't make a drink with a paper umbrella, yes. I think if her food is all, it all depends on... What kind of taste bud you have as a person, you know? It was average for the cost. Yeah, it was average for the cost. Okay. My daddy owned a bar and didn't drink. Yeah. I think it would just be fun to they'd be behind the bar and well, then it's true. all that come on talk to everybody coming up to you for a couple hours. Well, it's just it's just the same saying says um, um, bar owners that make it in the bar business they're not drinkers. You know, uh, people who run um, like. Uh, Party stores, they're not gamblers or drinkers because the ones that are successful, anyways. 
if you're a gambler, you'll gamble all your, you know, if you, you'll scratch off all your profits, at the, you know, the scratch off tickets and stuff, so. What is my favorite food to make? What is your favorite food to make? Um, we just cook Johnny Earl. And stuff. Like a chicken breast or cook it on the, um, um we have a foreman grill. I think our, our, our cooking style, I mean, both of ours are pretty much the same, obviously. Yeah. We're really simple. We're simple people. We don't get crazy on our food. No. We like simple chicken breasts. Chicken breast. Let's say chicken breast for a sample. Or a steak. Simple, or... marinated, you know what I mean? And just and then we like like the sides are simple. We like either steamed broccoli. Yeah. Um, Carrots or potatoes or potato or um, you know, it's nothing we don't go like really crazy with like creams or sauces. No, he or, makes the meat goulash. I mean, yeah. goulash is good. Um, yeah, so yeah, I think we're simple on our, on our simple and also try to healthy. We, we we normally try to eat healthy. <laughs> My favorite is boiled water, Marvin said. You do a lot of boiled water, yeah. Marvin. <laughs> yeah. You can do a lot. Um, it's pretty simple, though. We don't go crazy. Um, my mother, my mother does more crazy type cooking, you know, like she does like the the crock pot lasagnas and just crazy things, you know, so. So, but we're pretty much just basic. I mean, um, I find out if you throw too many flavors into things or if you cover everything with cheese or whatever, it just tends to take away from, you know, what you're trying to cook. I yes. had goulash and makes you go poop poop. Have you ever um, had roasted <laughs> chicken and made the broth? Yes, yes, stuff yes. like that. I mean, um, oh yeah, like like roasted things, um, just simple basic stuff. We don't, I don't get into like, like like all these different types of sauces. Like we don't get into like sweet. Honey, spice, whatever, or nothing. We just kind of. Blake basic. Shelton's restaurant was worth it. Um, Blake Shelton's restaurant, you know, guys, it, it, it appeals to only certain people. Um, I always tell folks that you might not like it because a lot of folks might not like it if you want to go there for a conversation. You're not going to have a conversation because the music, the band, the music playing is I loud. I think it turned turn it down a couple of It's going to be like, it's what? Be so bad. What did you say? I can not hear nothing. Right. It's going to be like that. So if you're going there for a conversation or for family time, then it's not the place for you. If you um, like super duper loud music and you don't want to talk to anybody, there you go. But if you like, if you like music and, and you know what I mean? And that appeals to you, um, the food there when we went was good. Now I've heard a lot of people give me bad reviews of their own, but I've also heard a lot of people say it's good too. But I've seen probably more than more bad than good. But when we went, we we had a good experience. The only thing that troubled me was about it was um, I had a hard time even trying to speak to our waitress. It was that loud in there, um, so you know. But it still worked it if you're into like. You know, music in general, it could be the place for you. Yes, like, yeah, Maury said, right, if you have a mother in law and she's like, duh, 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 I would definitely go to Blake Shelton. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it, it's good. It's not a bad place, guys. It just got, it, it only appeals to certain people. <laughs> And I think a lot of people where they where they come out with a bad review is they go in there and the atmosphere is not what they're thinking they're going to get. Um, and the yeah, music, right, Richard. Some and, of the people you it's better not to want to hear them. Exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's funny. But if you want if you want to go there and have a couple cervezas and maybe you know a little meal and you want to sit back and listen to the band play, it's awesome. But if you're a family of four, you got a five-year-old and a, and a four-year-old, and they're playing, they're they're already edgy. It's probably not the place for them. <laughs> if you don't um, like love, yes, and if you don't love, like loud music, I wouldn't recommend it. I, but, I mean, the food's good and stuff. It's um, I've I've even heard pricey. I've even heard rumors that 
the waitress, the wait staff there has messed up people's orders because yes. they can't even understand the people that are, you know what I'm saying? So I think if they turned yeah. on the music some, it wouldn't be so bad in there. I mean, why does it gotta be blurring that like so you're not like Night all be safe. Yes, definitely BTV. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna be getting off here, right, Don? You wanna end yes. this pretty soon, right? Yeah. Have a good night, Grandpa. Grandpa? <laughs> yeah, Tony said good night, Grandpa. Who's Grandpa? Have a good night. BTG. Yes, Susan, you are definitely right. They are building an an, an Ar I don't know how you say that. Ar an Ar an Arby's and Ar I don't want to say Arby's. It's it's an Arby's. I can't think of it. It's technically a competitor to uh, Steak and Shake in Sevierville. Yes. I also noticed today that the new um, Skylight or Skyliner or British Tea Drinker or the Sky Diner is coming along pretty well. They're starting to get its facade on there. You know that restaurant yeah. in Pigeon. There's a new 50s restaurant coming in Pigeon Forge. I forgot the exact name of it. Skylight, Skyliner, something, Diner, it's called. It's Diner like, is currently sleeping right now. Yeah, she's, she's out cold. Um, it's kind of like a, um, a Mel's Diner, but on a big scale. We can't wait for that to open. Nina, Nina Cooper. Hammer patties and onions and potatoes. Carrots, yes, definitely. And aluminum, yeah, that's the way I like to cook. How come yours ain't circling? Mine's been doing. I gotta reset that, it. I went out and come back in. But. Oh. I would call it BTD Grant because it was leaving to go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Sunliner? Is that what it's called? Maury? Skyliner. I think it's a Skyliner. But anyways. Uh, there's a lot of new stuff coming to town. We got a lot going on. Um, our biggest problem right now is... Of course, Honey Bear, we're, we're fighting two big things on our vlogs right now. Number one, Honey Bear and her her um, well-being is number one. Number two, the heat. Of course, you guys all know the heat. The whole United States is golfed in heat. And it's it is hot. it is it's hard to be out there. It is hard for us to get out there and do something in like 102 degree weather. Um, especially when we do a lot of hiking or even walking downtown Gatlinburg for a few hours can really put a toll on you. So Sunliner, yeah. Sunliner, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I think it First is time everybody's late, yeah. bedtime. I don't want to yeah. keep you guys up this late. Some people want to rather stay up this late. Some people Third, probably just got Joseph says a $30 t-shirt will have you screaming, go Blake, go Blake to Nashville. <laughs> yeah. And I know there's some folks out there who just don't like the ideal of... You know, Gatlinburg has always had a certain atmosphere, and I know in the last... Thanks, Valerie. Especially in the last 10 years, a lot of folks are upset with the way Gatlinburg is changing with all the the moonshine distillery places and now the Blake Sheldons. There's rumor that there's some more celebrity country restaurants that are going to be heading towards this way. Uh, I actually did hear a couple rumors of that happening. I've also heard that there's a couple more moonshine distillery companies that are possibly getting ready to open in Gatlinburg. So a lot of things are, are changing. Um, yeah, Gatlinburg. So, yep. And I know a lot of folks are, are upset. Me, I'm always like an old time, I'm like the old time Gatlinburg, but I do also know that if there's not change Sometimes you know, you lose a good thing altogether too, you know. Just look at Cherokee, you know. Look at the struggles that Cherokee has had in its tourism. Um, you know what I'm saying? They, the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge has always innovated, not as much as Cherokee has. But anyways, okay, this is your channel. I'm still know, talking. On, I'm on. talking on whatever. And <laughs> you probably should end it because some people might want to go to sleep. Yeah. Some people don't want to go sleep. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we can stay on for 10 more minutes, but I don't want to, you guys to uh, like, oh no, it's past my bedtime. Could be another Nashville. You know, I had another couple come up to me just recently. They're like, we just left Nashville to come here and oh my gosh, we hated Nashville. That's what they said, didn't they? They absolutely hated Nashville. Yes. They said it was horrible. There was like no parking. Um, they had a walk just to get in. When they got there, everything charged. You know what I mean? You couldn't even, um, it was just, you know, everything was a weight. It was just horrible, they said. A horrible experience. They come here, and it was like a breath of fresh air, you know, so. 
I don't know. Yeah, I need to get my own channel. Yeah, thank you, Maury. Thank you, Spooky. Stan ever been to Nashville? So I'd rather just go and say I did it, this experience of it. Everybody else has ever been experience it. I'm probably not going to like it either. Ten dollar premature. I've never been to Nashville, believe it or not. I mean, I've been to Nashville a long time ago. I'm talking 20 plus years ago. And so I don't know what, I haven't been to Nashville in a long time. I don't know what it's about, but I just hear a lot of people talk about it, that it's Nashville's Yeah, if not, everybody's saying it's not, I'm, yeah. I'm probably not going to like it either. Nash Vegas. Yeah. But it's expensive lot, then? Wow. But a lot of people... $10 per hour breathing charge in Nashville. <laughs> but a lot of people are saying also, too, that Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge are starting to turn in that way. Troll has a question. Yes, what's Troll want? Hey, left field question. Are there any roller rinks in Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg? Uh, no. To me, I don't think so. There was a few years back, um, but not anymore. They used to be above uh, Blake. You want the old-time 70s or 80s feel? I would suggest over Gatlinburg. You go on the tram, and then they got like the old uh, arcade up there, and it's just, uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, we don't have any roller rinks. It's kind of just old. Here. We did it one time, but it's not anymore. Um, I think there's a roller rink in Morristown. I can't think of it. They're thinking about putting a casino by the ballpark? Yes. Oh, boy. Well, that would have to, yeah, and Pamela, or I don't know who Isn't asked that, that question. Ch Chanel? Shell? The thing about the, the walking downtown Nashville at night. The thing about it is, is that this is what's going on. This is what I was told. The 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 the, the Cherokee Indian Indians they bought property um, over by the ballpark, a big huge lot. They're in hopes that the Tennessee will change its constitution to allow game gaming in, in the state. Now, supposedly over in Nashville right now, there's a whole a whole lobbyist that are trying to get Tennessee to change its constitution and gambling, to allow gambling. So they're all betting on if they can get it changed. Now, from what I'm hearing, I'll have to go to a vote of the people. So eventually it would have to be put on a ballot and we would have to vote to amend the constitution of Tennessee to allow gambling. Uh, but they're all betting. So technically, the, the, the Cherokee Indians, they would want, technically, they want to open a casino in the area. So technically, they want. Tony calls um, Nashville Crashville because there's always car accidents. And Probably. <laughs> <laughs> i never bet it, so I don't know. I'd take your guys' word for it. It sounds like to me I yes. don't want to be down there, especially walking the streets at night. Maury says that Cherokee has an exclusive Thank rights for gaming in North Carolina. Okay. Yeah, and, and what it is, is they're, I'm going to tell you straight up. I'm going to tell everybody I feel about it. I don't like the fact of gambling here on this side like on either. this side of the Smokies. Number one, I think a casino would be bad because a lot of folks, a lot of folks that are coming to vacation here, they might stop off the casino, go broke, turn around, go back home, right? Yeah. And eventually, our tourism could die, right? Um, just kind of almost like the way it is over in Cherokee. Their tourism is pretty much gone in a way. And all they have is the casino. Um, yeah, I'm it's, totally, I totally, oppo I totally true. oppose. I look at it this way. If you want to gamble in the Smokies, go over to Cherokee. There's a beautiful Cherokee. drive over the mountains. Go over yes. early morning, take in the beautiful drive, go to the casino all day, and then head back over. Um, I don't think we need a casino on this side. If you really want to go to the casino, go to, go to Vegas for a, yeah. like a week or something. Yeah. I enjoyed Vegas when I went there. It's not my style of stuff. I have nothing against casinos. But I like it. I have nothing against casinos. I love walking the strip. It's like a 10 mile strip. Yeah. But I just don't want a casino on this side because I want our tourism. I want places like Dollywood and I want all the tourism and I want the Great Smoky Mountains National Park to thrive. I think a casino would hurt what Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge is all about. You know what I'm saying? That's my personal belief, and yes, I don't, I don't, I'll fight hard against a casino. I don't, I don't want a casino. I'm not crazy about it either, but you want a casino experience, I would suggest Vegas. Yeah, I mean, if you're coming to the Smokies and you want a casino, like, I mean, why don't you just go to, like, you know, Atlantic City, or better yet, go down to Biloxi and go down to, like, you know, uh, there's a lot of really cool casinos down there, too, you know? I just don't see a casino. We don't need a casino here. 
you know. I mean, I know that a lot of there's a lot of uh, city officials and stuff in the area would love to see a casino because they bring in more money, right? Not I, not I. Hi, Crystal. Hey, Crystal. Yeah. Yeah. How are you and your family, Crystal? When um, Richard said he went over to the mountains to Cherokee on a charter bus to experience. Yeah, I mean, they got a beautiful casino over there. They really do. Um, yeah. I have a couple friends who go over to the casino quite a bit, and they're like, that that casino doesn't pay out as good as like other casinos they go to. So. Oh, she would be back down in 49 more days. Can't wait to see you guys. Oh, wow. Okay, that'd be cool. Yeah, but Crystal, I'm go get my cord. let us know like a few days before you get in town or whatever. Get a hold of us somehow and um, we'll, um, we'll get together for sure. But, yeah, there's a lot of play. Like I said, you know, um, if you're going to go for gambling, man, it definitely... You know, there's places for that all over the place. Especially now. There's casinos all over. Really, there is. Yeah. There's casinos all over the place. We were down in uh, Alabama. We ran across an Indian casino. So. Bob and Bonnie. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Bob and Bonnie. Are you almost ready to get off, though, pretty shortly? Yeah. Here? Some people don't want to leave, and some do. I know. Well. But I want to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Give about another five minutes or so, right? Yeah. Another five or ten. Doc, Roxy, Foxy, Roxy Dr. Dr. Pepper, Pepper Show. Long time ago. I haven't seen them. Or maybe I just kind of, you know, on our main, on the main channel, it has gotten so hectic in, in the live streams to um, to see everybody. You know, just so many people in there. That's true. So the casino did hurt the stores in Cherokee. Yes, guys. Do you talk to any of the real local Cherokee there's mixed feelings about those casinos. In fact, a lot of your, your Cherokee over there, um, they actually don't like the casino because they think it's hurt them more than the, 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 the common Cherokee. Of course, all the chiefs and all the big wigs, they all got big, you know, they're all living down in Miami somewhere, you know. But uh, <laughs> but a lot of your, just your, your, your Cherokee, your poor Cherokee, the casinos actually hurt them more than it helped you know well and Dawn, what's the best way to get a hold of you guys the best way to get a hold of us is through email guys i'm gonna yeah. tell you right now my message i don't even check messenger anymore um in fact i'm trying to shut it down because literally there is just so much messages um i had over 400 messages on messenger in one day 400 i can't get through all of it i want to shut messenger down completely um email email is probably the best way as of right now I'm just trying to tell people if you're going to message me on email, the problem with Messenger is there's a lot of, so many folks go on there and we love it. We love hearing it, but they go on there to say, hey, great, great video, or they're praising us, which we love, but it also clouds up from other messages getting through. I, I, um, Another way to get a hold of us is through our, any of our YouTube videos, but that's going to be public. People are going to be able to see that. See yeah. it. Um, because we make it a goal to answer every single one of our, our YouTube. <laughs> you would be pulling her hair off. Oh. Yeah. Uh, my messenger right now. My messenger. Casino in Fort Lauderdale. Someone's just talking about the Detroit um, three casinos in Detroit. Yes. We've been to all three of them. Now, I will admit there. one thing. The casinos in Detroit has actually helped Detroit. So casinos do work in some scenarios, but here casinos won't work because we already have a vibrant economy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's no sense of putting a casino in a vibrant comedy economy, you know? Yeah. Um, yes. Yanking us out to produ um, production at gmail.com. But right now, I'm having a hard time. I literally have probably two or three thousand messages to go through on Messenger. Two or three thousand messages. So, I get really got behind when we Oh, were... Joseph said all the states are leaning toward legalized gambling. Yeah. Too much revenue to pass up. I live oh, yeah. two hours from Atlantic City and now it's a ghost town. Oh, yeah, wow. see, the places like Atlantic City that were set up for gambling are ghost towns, you know. Go on, what had you 
laughing at the other night something about yuck. He's always doing something yucky. <laughs> I don't know. Dawn's always laughing at things too. Sometimes you find out she's laughing at. To me, it's like nothing. I'm like, what are you laughing at? <laughs> because it's, if someone does something dumb, it's funny. I need an intern. Yeah, you know, Roxy, Foxy. Um, yeah, I got like, we just get a lot of stuff. And lately, we get so much mail for um, j just a lot of like like places that want us to like review an item. A lot of YouTube channels that want to collab is a big thing. Yeah. We just get a lot of people wanting it. We get a lot of people wanting things, right? That's what it comes down to. We, we got a um, Gollumar. He's from Brazil, Will. Oh, wow. Welcome from Brazil. How do you say his name? Um, I don't know. I'm Augusto. Distraught. Hi, Gollumar Augusto. Oh, Gollumar Augusto Gameplay. He's a gamer, I think. Well, hi. Game gamers. Gamers. We had a gamer in the other night. He had something over a hundred thousand. Rothox. A hundred, hundred thousand subscribers. Yes. I think, he had the check mark by his name. I think he was a younger, a younger. He he's come in our chat before with the. When yeah. he came in the chat before, he didn't have the check mark, but now he's he's quite big, and we just told him he's a we're a family channel. He goes, well, don't get rid of me. We're not going to get rid of you. We're just to let you know we had we we're a family channel. So. <laughs> Send ten DMs a day. You know, Maury, and, and some folks will send literally 10 or 15. A lot of these companies that want you to, like, do a product for them or something, they will send you 20 or 30 messages a day. So those add up quick, plus everybody else in the mixture. Oh. I am overwhelmed, and we're not a big YouTube channel. We're actually small, but... I literally have a lot of people. They all want, 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 want. That's all I hear all day long. Want, 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 want. Yeah, I love want, want. Uh, Game Time San Andres. Oh, okay. And um, Crystal said she's going to be a grandma. We the oldest one. She has we haven't met yet. Congratulations, Crystal. Yeah, yeah. Maury's a gamer, but Maury, yes. you're not. You're another type of gamer, aren't you, bud? <laughs> Does he really have a hundred thousand K subs? No. But it is, it's getting, it's, especially for me, it's getting like overwhelming because there's so many people want so many different things, you know? And I, I have been overwhelmed probably for at least the last couple of weeks of just overwhelm mm -hmm. of everybody's wanting something. So, yes, I need to kind of, Dawn's like, just pull the plug and and back away for a while, you know. Not We're to the channel, like not the channel. Super duper busy. But just messages and 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 contact with people. Just pull the public. See, this is what we didn't want. Remember a while back, we want to always keep flow. Now I see the reason why Adam Wu and Jacob the Carpetbagger have pulled like most of their ways of contacting them is because of this. Now I now I understand. I understand of just the magnitude of. Happy birthday, Marilyn. So. Cool. <laughs> someone's birthday or not. Or someone's saying Happy birthday, Marilyn. Marilyn. We got to meet Marilyn at yes. one of the meetups. Marilyn, we met you. What did Marilyn brought us something, remember? Yes. <sighs> I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. Yes, and I heard that Crystal's a grandmother. Did you know that? Yes. Crystal's she's a going grandmother. To be a grandmother, or she's got one on the way. Yeah, or she's going to be a grandmother. Crystal. Thank you. Yes, Crystal. Okay. You have a very show. beautiful family, Crystal. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Her phone's dying. We're gonna we're gonna say good night too, aren't we, Don? Are we gonna say good night? Yeah, we're gonna have to say good night. Couple more minutes, guys. Just, good night, troll. Good night, um, show. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you guys. for stopping by and talking to us. Yes, and yes, Marilyn. Okay, I remember. You know we rambled too much and probably ignored the chat a lot. No, I remember. Uh, Marilyn brought us a card. Yes. Yes, I thank remember. Thank you so much, Marilyn. I remember. Thank you so much. It's getting late, so I, I have, my brain is like, eh. and I have been going through a lot. I'm trying to go through messages, and there's just especially. Thank you, Kay. And like I said earlier, I am... They're all saying goodnight now. Have a good night, Stacy. Have a good night, Troll. 
I am a little stressed out on uh, on just everything that goes on right now. But anyways, guys, um, we're going to be at the oh, meetup tomorrow night. Karen wants to know how Honey Bear is doing. She's doing good. She's, she's eating. She's walking. She's sleeping. She's... She's sleeping. Yeah. We'll say goodbye. I'm going to take her to Honey Bear. Okay. Who, Have a good bye. Who bye. wants to go see Honey Bear sleep for a few minutes? He's going to take you guys over there and see the baby. Oh, she's awake. What are you doing? You sleepy? Aww. You're not sleepy, are ya? You are, aren't ya? Yeah. Honey bear. She's, <laughs> she, out, out of it. she's out of it, guys. She's like, yeah, Jamie, I'm tired. Oh, definitely, um, Jamie. We're we'll pray for you. Oh, there goes the yeah, camera. All right, guys, we're gonna say good night. Okay, hi, Bear. Say good night, everybody. Oh, we want your tummy rubbed. You don't want that tummy rub, do you? Aw. Look at that, guys. She's sleeping. <laughs> okay, guys. We're going to leave her alone, but we're, you're going to... All right. Ah, I got the tripod here. Okay. All right, everybody. Say goodbye, Dawn. Goodbye, Dawn. Good. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Thank you for stopping by. Bye. See Bye, you. everybody. We'll see you later, guys. Thank you so much for joining Dawn's live stream, right? We'll definitely be praying for you, Jamie. And Sheldon. And Sheldon. You were definitely tonight. in our prayers, Sheldon and Jamie. Yes, um, guys, um, definitely um, um, we'll keep you in your prayer in our prayers. Oh, hey guys, I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm taking the Pomeranian. We're gonna get some sleep. So, oh, right, everybody, love you. Love you okay. guys. Have a good night. Thank yep. you for joining me. Okay, guys, that's it. Bye. Love you.